please welcome someone who you may not know appeared on an Attitude cover back in 2001 when he appeared in the Pet Shop Boys musical Closer to Heaven and it's been upwards ever since. I give you Louis Spence! Hello, 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 hello. Right, sorry, I've got to get my glasses on so I've reached that age where I have to do the pullback. There you go. The only thing I like to pull back now is a foreskin, but hey. Anyway, well, that went down like a ton of bricks, didn't it, darling? So, where's my thing? Right, I've got to read. This is a worry. Right, so, oh, am I going to stick to this? Right, let's give it a go. So, the TV Personality of the Year Award goes to two people this year, TV Personalities of the Year. There are two people, one gay, one straight, who over the last couple of years have risen like a firm sponge into national status. Both have successful careers individually, but we love them most when they are together judging our suet puddings. The Attitude Award for TV Personalities Award 2013. in front of a group of people for about four years without saying the word bake in a really hysterical high-pitched voice and making double entendres about soggy bottoms and baps and tarts and then single entendres as John Waits who's, uh, who's here will know. Um, listen I, I'll keep it brief because I'm inclined to yabber so I just want to thank a few people mainly attitude. This is the first thing genuinely that Mel and I have ever won and we've known each other for 25 years so it means so much I can't tell you. here because she's in Holloway but um, I'd like to, to, to thank a few people before I obviously thank her I'd like to thank my partner Anna who's here tonight um, I'd like to thank my lovely Debbie Allen who, who, who gives me 100% and only takes 15 and um, <laughs> this is for Mel who um, is sort of like my platonic wife who's sort of like my best friend who's sort of my sister but more than that she's sort of the better part of my double helix and I love her to death so this is for her thank you so much hi there now first of all can I just say um, I do apologize for Sue did she go on has she gone on yeah how, how long five minutes seven eight oh did she tell you about her extension oh no I, I, I'm really 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 sorry i've lived with it for 25 years imagine that you're just there for one evening listen i'm so so honored and delighted to be the um half recipient of this amazing award uh, we'll we'll swap the a between us we'll do you know six months with sue six months with me. anyway thank you so so much and i'm delighted that um we've got some Bake Off uh, fans in the audience and even more delighted uh, I know that you had some rather delicious pudding I understand that I missed ha 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 the old pecan pie yeah lovely it's got a good structure uh, the crumb is good uh, that's a very nice glazed filling let's just check there is a bit of a soggy bottom that's that's all I'm gonna say but um Actually, just, uh, mm. thank you so, so much for this award. That's really delicious. I'm sorry I missed the rest of the dinner, but I think I got the best part. Thank you so much. I was actually quite disgusted watching that. Some people just can't control what they eat. Come on, guys, respect your bodies, fuck's sake. <laughs> and you're feeling a bit emotional. I am feeling a, a bit emotional, yeah. I, get, I'm, I like to think I maintain a very good hatchet-faced exterior until I talk about Mel and then I get really 
yeah, I get very overwhelmed. So I'm very glad we've got this. I'm really, really delighted. Well, it was such a lovely privilege to meet you and what you were saying at the beginning of the event, because I don't know whether you had any idea this was going to happen or what, but it was just you, what you said about the magazine was just so great. Well, I'm and glad. then to now see you here and you're kind of like, ah, oh, I got the award. And it's just yeah, this is, this is the first award we've ever won in 25 it's, years. It's, really? Yeah, it is. I mean, the, the show's won a, a BAFTA, but that's very much a, a collaborative effort and there's many, many people that do that. So this is the first time we've sort of been recognised for the idiocy that we pedal as a, as a, as a double act. So I, I'm that really... We have all loved to watch, though, I might add. Well, I can only take a credit for a tiny part of that because all Mel and I do really is just sort of go around the benches and take the piss out of people. So, um, yeah, but... It, what a night, lovely night. And to see, I mean, the things I've learned tonight, I've, I've, I've had a proper snog with Mark Ormond, who's like, a, from a, the, almost the moment I could talk, I've loved him. And um, I know that he likes a malt loaf. This is, this, is the, this is the night you find out stuff like that from people that you've cherished since you were a kid. So, um, yeah, he was having a conversation with Holly Johnson about how much he loved malt loaf. Paula Grady's on stage now, genius. You know, I'm at a table with Olympiads. It, it's very special. And what's special is it's not just the gay community, but it's also people in the straight community who've done such brilliant work on our behalf. Because if it's just gay people talking about gay people, the world can't know about it. You have to have, as with Daniel Radcliffe, people who will, who will speak out in the straight community. So I'm rambling. I've got a lot of love to give. I'm going to give it to you in a minute, and then you'll be sorry. I'm going to lick you like a lollipop. Well, thank you for the love, <laughs> and thank you for sharing some time with us, and enjoy the rest of your night, because it's going to be a good one by the sounds of it, with the company you're keeping. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Thank you so much.